on on ITV bringing us to a uh, second talking point where we'll be looking at what happened yesterday in the northern part of the country where uh, one of the social amenities uh, was you know short in, in supply talking about electricity and we've seen how the president uh, actually gave a marching order to authority responsible to ensure that power in the northern part of the country is restored. And to do this, I have with me uh, former Vice President, Nigerian Association of Small and Medium Enterprises, who also doubles as a council member with Nasima, Awal Bununu. Good morning. Uh, good morning. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. So, you know, we have been having, you know, series of grid collapse yes. and TCN uh, most time come out to you know give an assurance that uh, it will be fixed but what we have seen uh, yesterday where the entirety of the northern part of the country is cut off from power supply is what worries uh, not only the president but of course uh, those who uh, rely on power to make a living so what do you make of all of that now, thank you very much. Um, as a former of the Jane Nepa, permit me to just say you overview the Nigerian electricity industry. As you are all aware, quality of life and economic development depend on your consumption of energy, electricity, and power, and particular. And, uh, Quality of life and economic development depend on sustainable supply of affordable energy or affordable electricity. Now, and in Nigeria currently, oil, gas, coal dominate major sources of electricity generation in the country. And uh, our and these things are coming up with pollution. Pollution. That enters into another issue of climate change. Our renewable energy sources of using solar, wind, hydro, biomass, and even nuclear power solutions will have less pollution. We have not really tapped into the major uh, opportunities of the global we can get from the renewable sources. And in 2005, Nigerian government promulgated what they call Power Reform Act, where the they dissolved the NEPA, established power holding company, and subsequently about 18 companies were created out of the power Nigerian electricity structure. They established National Electricity Regulatory Commission, about 11 distribution companies, one transmission company generating companies and Nigerian bulk electricity trading was its embed and rural electrification agency was established. These are the reforms. But in spite of all these reforms, our installed generating capacity is less than 20,000 megawatts for a country of over 200 million people. Less than 20, maybe about 13 installed capacity. And, but they generate less than 10, maybe 10,000 megawatts, or about 7.5 megawatts. I don't know the latest statistics. Mm -hmm. It's about less than 10,000 megawatts is being generated. We have an internal capacity of about 13,000 megawatts, but we generate less than 10,000 megawatts, and we have transmission program. The transmission system. Uh, 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 let's uh, get this, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah. straight. Yeah. Install capacity of less than 20,000 megawatts. But generating, generating mm. less than 10,000 mm. megawatts. All right. What we are generating is even less than the install capacity. Mm. And from what you, if we wouldn't do what, what is being generated, we about 4,000, mm. 5,000 megawatts. There is distribution. The distribution network cannot distribute this. Even the small the one that we are generating, which I mentioned about 5,000 megawatts or 4,000 megawatts, due to the inadequacy of the distribution network. So the distribution companies are rejecting power being supplied to them by uh, the, 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 the generating, generating companies. companies. 
our transmission system, no funding to expand the capacity and strengthen the capacity of the transmission system. There is no funding. So you can see this is how this is where we are. Mm. And there are a lot of gas supply problem for the gas station. There is inability to raise funds by a license. Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Agency that the license company to generate power, they cannot respond to, 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 to generate the power. And there is serious vandalization. And there is very poor local content of material, distribution materials, uh, transmission materials, all most of these are being imported. The components, the, the consumables of distribution network, and that transformers, cables, so you can see that. So with this major problem, so it's not surprising. But what we are just talking now about uh, the particular thing that happened to the northern mm -hmm. part of the country is just this is the out of the mega thing that is being generated. So it's a problem of a problem again. It was that was already the system has been a problem. But the little we are now talking, the, we are now talking of the little four thousand mega we are distributing. Mm -hmm. That one we are generating or sending to the grid. We cannot even, it is not even available. So you can see it's a secondary problem now that we are talking. Already the system is in problem. Our, we are supplying very high inadequate power supply due to all these problems that I have mentioned to you. So now we are going into another problem. Even the little we are generating, we cannot distribute. Okay, now uh, we will look at all of that, especially uh, one of those which has to do with the vandalism. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's why the northern part of the country is totally cut apply. Yeah. But before we look at that, uh, you talked about the fact that distribution companies are rejecting power from Jenkos. Yes. What is responsible? Because they don't have capacity to distribute. They have limited capacity to distribute the power they get from the generating company. Mm -hmm. you, know, you have to have an effective distribution network. Mm -hmm. Your distribution lines, your cables, everything, all your transformers, your your trans, uh, MB, your your injection transformers have to be adequate. They don't have even our 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 consumer will tell you most of communities have still money to buy transformers, to buy this, to buy this. No adequate transformer position. All other distributors, well, that is why the distribution network. Even to distribute the little they are getting, they are getting from the generating company. Which already the generating company are already generating very very little. But even the so these are the incapacity to distribute to receive and distribute them because they don't have the capacity. What is the challenge? Uh, you were there when it was Nepal, like you have reeled out. Yes, yes. You know how it was working when it was Nepal. In two thousand five, it became. Uh, power holding company of Nigeria, yes. and you also saw how uh, uh, distribution of power, uh, you know, was done. You are, we are also here in 2014. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry start to be corrected when it was um, actually sold out completely to uh, you know uh, distribution companies. Private. Uh, uh, private. Mm -hmm. So, but the problem remains the same. When it was NEPA, government was allocating resources. The generation remains the same. When it was um, PSCN, we see, you know, some chunk of allocation to the power uh, sector every every uh, year that government, of course, um, um, uh, makes budget. And same thing when it was fully privatized. It is the same capacity. Of power generated from when it was NEPA, PSCN, and of course when we have various distribution companies. What is the problem? Well, the problem could be. Why can't we go beyond? Yeah, you, uh, you know, the you know. Problem, I, if you permit me, mm -hmm. I will classify the problem into two categories. Yes. One technical yeah. technology. Mm -hmm. We don't have the local content capacity. Mm -hmm. To, to in the manufacture of what we need for all these stages of generation, uh, distribution, and uh, transmission and distribution. We depend mostly on imported 
the signal which we use for in exchange. Mm -hmm. We import all these are uh, generating, even come back to even small, small houses generated, mm -hmm. they are all imported. So this is the second one that we have. Oh, yeah, but, but if you look at the humongous amount allocated to the power sector, remember in the days of uh, President Mamre, there's always this talk about eight years got 16 trillion naira to you know uh revamp a part the power sector but nothing happened and now we have uh, i mean we had him uh, former president uh, Muhammad buhari also allocated resources to power nothing changed and now we are you know more than a year of president bola tribu it's still the same so what is the what's the problem no this is your question Yes. It's not peculiar to our sector only. Mm. Look at our roads. Go and check our Nigerian expense, capital expenditure on roads. Mm. Billions have been spent on roads. Yeah, but you know and that so your, 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 your expertise is on electricity because you this work is, there. Is uh, the, the, the reason why we have this kind of discussion, yes. you can be an expert. Yes. In this particular field, yes, yes. and of course, the authority are watching and listening to yes, you. Yes. You can advise and recommend the way yes, out of yes, this. I'm coming, yes, I'm coming to you. If you look mm. at the entire Nigerian budget system, mm. look at every year mm. what the National Assembly is approving for our appropriation. Mm. So, the problem is that our economic management system mm. by government, the government economic management system sector, mm. need to be reformed. Mm and then carry private sector organizations in really implementation of budget, carry them along. The major problem is that whatever has been allocated, those in public sector tend to do it alone. They will just mm. give skeletal service that they are involving the private sector mm. in their different the employees or anything there. So there's no transparency? Um, I, I would say that yeah, no, because if they are transparent, will say, they will make it open. What I want, what I can confidently say is that mm. there is lack of collaboration with the private sector mm. in the economic implementation of the budget allocated either to power sector or to road sector or to everything mm. that you can do. Because if you, for example, and it's a simple arithmetic, mm. government will declare a budget and will tell you capital expenditure into trillions of naira, where they do their own public procurement and their own spending. So, lack of involving the private sector, and then that is number one. Uh, the economic management system should be private. There should be more collaboration, private sector building, for a public partnership with government. Mm -hmm. That's it. So this is the major problem. Why the million will be sunk? And you know, public sector. I was also in government. Yes, that's why I'm. I'm I, 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 you are. You know, how not only, these three generations of, of, of a, changes. Not only I serve as a civil servant, as an mm. engineer with NEPA, I also serve my government as a special advisor to my government university. I know governance system, the burden that is uh, being run, mm. governance system, the political governance system is so mm. consuming because the, the system is so demanding that if if, if, if any approach of budget implementation is not private sector driven, it's not carried out, it's going to be a problem. I remember in 20, 2011, the National Planning Commission of Nigeria invited us to a seminar. They should take to us an innovation that Egypt did to inject 60,000 megawatts into their electricity power grid. Because the they saw that their government policies, procurement policies, were very difficult for them to achieve what they want to do. And it's not very difficult to change government laws, the process of changing. So they now do their military. It was an innovation. Nigerian National Planning Commission invited us to show that this is an innovation that was done by Egypt to inject 60,000 megawatts into its own power system. So you can see that it's because they have concerns in their normal policies and uh, regulations, so they had to use their own military, and it was the military that took over, and within the military system, the laws gave you a lot of leverages for the military. And then, and in no time, they made the, the, the adjustment. And then, yeah, so that's mm. It is still this morning on ITV. Uh, before that short break, we're looking at the cost causes for 
the you know power outage in the northern part of the country and of course uh, we have now been joined with the executive uh, director electricity consumer protection advocacy chief prince will okori very good morning and welcome thank you very much yeah thank so you, you are making that point i just wanted to land on it before we we, we now uh, you know take the opening remark from uh, chief prince will there's still even those products that are coming in here to know if they uh, they have the power to confiscate such products and bomb them. The ones that are so they, are, they have the power to prosecute such people. But how many? Where is the data of the number of uh, containers that are brought in on substandard materials, mm -hmm. electrical materials? Where is the data of monitoring mm -hmm. and evaluation of the performance of these the people that inject? Uh, yes. But beyond that, this to the gain is, is so far as it. You see the consumers at the suffering end. For instance, grid collapse. When grid collapses, no light is supplied. But consumers are made to pay as if there was light. Those that are not metered. Especially unmetered consumers. Mm. And you can see that millions of Nigerians are unmetered. So when grid collapses, they are kept, the, the distribution company gets mute. The moment the light comes, they give bill to these consumers as if they got the light. All this. Then you now ask yourself, how, what, poly, what is the quality of uh, transformers that are used in these areas? When you go and bring refurbished transformer installed in a place, and it blows up, some of those equipments that are used can affect the grid. Who is supervising? Rural identification agency. To what extent are they really looking at these, uh, the quality of things that are being used mm. for installations? So these are the issues for me mm. that need to be looked at. So when you look at it, there is no effective monitoring of the system. Mm. No compliance, no enforcement. Mm. Eight grid collapses this year. Who has been punished? The question we should be asking is, these eight grid collapses from January now till now, who has been punished? Who has been fired? In a good environment, there should be an um, investigative panel mm -hmm. to look into the cause of this grid collapse from the first one to the eighth one. And then punish some people, remove some people, and inject other hands. But you don't see anything. All we hear is good product be rectified, business as usual. So where there is no punishment, there is no way to call those who are in charge to order. There's no how you can get any difference. And don't forget, even when you give the history of the power sector mm -hmm. from PSCA to the, from the people to manning, the people manning most of the agencies in the power sector today are the same people that work under a, a, a power holding company and NEPA. Go and check the agencies. Most of their heads work under NEPA. The NEPA we said that failed is mm. the same one we say we have transformed. And we mm. take the staff who worked in the thing that failed mm. and use them to head all the so, institutions. But can we measure mechanism in such a way that, okay, uh, XYZ amount is injected into the system and it is injected when the power generation is at 4,000 megawatts. So if you have an injection of a huge amount of money, that should be, you know, a corresponding, you know, uh, increase in the, the power generation. Can we have such I, I mechanism? I ask you the question each time I come here. I ask, where is Minister of Power on this panel? Where is National Electricity Regulatory Commission here? When you don't bring them, what do you expect? Who will give you this answer? Mm -hmm. Let me give you, talk, let me tell you, forget mm -hmm. about funds that are injected in the sector. Last week, we issued a press release. CBN gave out 59 billion naira for national mass metering program in 2020 to the 11 discos. And the idea of giving that money is that they use it to give Nigerians free meter. And that the meter will help them in collecting money. There won't be losses. Now, between 2020, when this money was injected, and 2024, they've come back 7 billion. So how much have they collected? From 2020, when this money was given to them, to 2024, how many meters we are given? Who are the recipients, beneficiaries of the meters? In 2018, Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission came up with a policy they called meter access provider, which means consumer that pays for meter will get Ma. energy credit as a, re or a refund. How many consumers bought the meter before 2020 when they came up with the National Mass Metering Program? And the National Mass Metering Program it was said that 200 billion naira was mapped out and it was to be implemented in three phases. 
Only the pilot phase, 59 billion naira given in 2020, four years after, only 7 billion paid. Nobody is talking about whether they are continuing the program or not. And the Minister of Power is today saying the uh, government is up to carry 1.8 million meters. From which fund? The same question you're asking. There is what they call operational expenditure, which the General Electric Regulatory Commission oversees. And this is given to the distribution companies every year. They approve for that. There's what they call capital expense, CAPEX. Where is the report of implementation of these things? There's no report. You can't see anything. Okay, you now check the international community. World Bank will tell you they've injected so so money. GIZ is putting money. Under the Nigeria Electrification Project, which World Bank and the Rural Electrification Agency handled, the mini grids they said they put on in today. All the solar street lights that we have put on the streets and that the legislators put in for their constituencies. How many are functional? So it's a sector that is not coordinated, it's not monitored. Is a sector that has no transparency, a sector that has no accountability in it, a sector that anything, even, you will see now, who owns this discourse? It's, it's hidden. Who are the real owners of the discourse? And when you're talking about looking at how the money went, recall that under privatization, government has 40% uh, of the share, and the discourse have 60%. Now, tell me, which state in this country knows how it is generated in his state? based on the, the fund the distribution companies collect. This state has even asked the distribution companies, out of the 59 billion we are given, how much, how many meters buy for my consumers in my state? These are issues. Okay, now let's get back to uh, Bununu uh, on the issue of vandalism, which has kept the northern part of the country in darkness. Yeah. We have the Nigeria Security and Nigeria Security and civil defense corps. I'm sure their mandate is to protect public facility like the power and anything that has to do uh, with, uh, you know, the like. So what can be done to ensure that they do their job diligently so as to prevent vandals from encroaching into, you know, uh, installations like uh, electricity uh, installations? Yeah, thank you very much. You know, I'm not the uh, but uh, their, their job is to uh, is, is to is to ensure that, that what I can tell you nothing happens to security problem. Mm. That's why we are experiencing vandalization of our system, our mm. distribution transmission system in the country. Mm. As to what can be done is what I, what I can say as a layman mm. in security aspect is mm. that our security personnel should be whole responsible. It's mm. what my brother, if I get correctly, his comment. People mm. responsible for an offense should be paid, mm. identified, and punished for that. So what I can answer to you is that the way out of this security issue is that mm. for government to hold our security personnel who have been given the duty mm. to protect this equipment, let them pay, let them be punished for what has happened. Mm. To this system, that's what I can answer for now. But if you permit me to also quickly mm. to also make some, share some more light on what my my friend and brother have just mentioned about Nepal people that are still maintaining mm. in Nepal, they are now mm. They are still the same and people working in, in all the offices. As to my knowledge, mm. who has been in the power sector since mm. the 90s and as a professional engineer. If you want to identify, if you want to uh, put personnel to manage our electricity system, all the value chains, it's only NEPA that has spent a lot of money to train them. There are no any other organization that I know in the country mm. that have trained Exactly, you find, you manage, you find any system of power generation distribution that is not a NEPA related personnel because, as I know, but you will tell me maybe if I'm wrong. No organization have trained people, technical power in our electricity system. Because when we are employed, we spend two years as a public engineer. Within my first two years of training, I was taken around, I was in Sapele, Kaindi, I know you go around to Nepal. Even when they, when they, you remember when they privatized the system, there was a massive retrenchment. 
not being observed because that is why those who are bought, who are buying system mm -hmm. that's why they can get personnel to manage this thing for them mm -hmm. and also as for who are responsible for the low quality product in the market so much so from what you are saying now, yeah. if nature faced out these people that are that have been trained by NEPA, it means that we will not have you know experience, experience I don't know why you, engineers I don't know why you can in do. our electrical uh, uh, in, 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 in our power system. I don't know organization in Nigeria now mm. that you can have a lot of experience mm. personnel. So, so, so that. Is that there is a huge challenge in this no, country. No, there is a skill gap in power sector. Yeah, so there is a skill gap. There is a skill gap in the manufacturing because I am a member mm -hmm. of the National Trade Certification Committee. Mm -hmm. It's so sharp in the national quality infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So the quality of our product, the skill gap is there. Mm -hmm. Very good skill gap. And it, and it appears we are not doing anything about it. It, it, it appears we are not doing anything about it. No, no, I mean, it appears the government is not doing anything about this gap. No, they have programs for mm. skill gaps. Mm. Whether it is implemented is the issue. But mm. government mm. infrastructure for skill mm. gap, mm. the quality infrastructure. Mm. But mm. whether that thing is being done, mm. is being, uh, is being done is what I mm. is a question to be. Asked. Okay, um, your friend My is to say is something. National Power Training Institute. Mm. Okay established by government and they mm. are training manpower mm. the question is nepa produced trained people what is the result of that training in delivery on the sector you know, when it comes i'm coming when it comes to quality service delivery are we getting it so where is the training and what impact has it made on the sector that's the reason i made the comment i made because it well, it's just moving around the same circle. Mm. People committed corruption mm. when there was a public enterprise, mm. the money, rather than get them and punish them and re restructure mm. the sector. Mm. We said, ah, we are going into privatization. Mm. The people that stole the money to buy the companies. And then, and now, mm. when there was a problem in power sector, rather than address it, we say privatization. Mm. Today, those that bought the, uh, the mm. distribution could know them. And mm. then the power sector is not delivering. Mm. But coming to the issue of vandalism you mm. talked about. Yes. Vandalism. Mm. Is, it, have, is it possible to have ultra modern have equipment deployed to monitor all installations? My organization will organize the program on um, uh, electricity safety, like I told you. Mm. There was one program we did and we brought the police. The police was there last week. Civil Defense was there. Customs was there. SOM was there. Neck was there. All of them, NEMSA, they were all there last week. The communique will come out. And it's the Committee of Safety Standards and Regulations in the House of Representatives that partnered with the Association for Public Policy Analysis, which I'm the national president to organize that. In fact, I was the chairman of the organizing committee. Let me tell you, the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense had attended our event. They made one comment. That vandalism, people carry a vandalism, sometimes out of vendetta. What does, if you me or you treat me unjustly, I may decide to vandalize your equipment to get back at you. What does that mean? These, pro, these uh, facilities that are vandalized, this infrastructure, who owns them? There is network expansion investment that is being handled by NEC, the regulator. And that network expansion investment policy provides that if a third party invests in infrastructure, he mm. will get a, a compensated. He need to go into an understanding with the distribution company so that he can recover his investment. But what we see today, NEC does not um, publicize that policy. The distribution companies keep quiet. Then consumers are crying. They need the light. Transformer is spoiled. It won't be repaired. Until the community contribute money themselves and, buy. and repair the transformer or buy. Commun As I speak with you now, there's a community around airport road that came to complain. They spent nine billion, nine million naira to buy transformer themselves, buy pool, buy wine. No, uh, AEDC, come and contribute the little thing required to energize it. They said they have no money. And these people will contribute them and still pay the money to come and energize it. So after they have done that, one week or two after, the distribution company will bring bills. And these bills are given to them beyond the approved billing methodology. They won't have the meter. 
and you are giving them estimated billing, you are not following NEC estimated billing methodology. Do you think those people will keep quiet and allow the transformer work? This is one cause of vandalism. When people feel they are shortchanged, they are cheated, and nobody protects them. Mm. Government section but, 14. But can we, can we have a system whereby it's the security is involved. We we'll deploy, we'll deploy ultra modern equipment to, to monitor to monitor it's installation. It's not even ultra no. modern. Let mm. me tell you, mm. section two o four to two two four of the electricity at twenty twenty three mm. is on penalties and offenses. Mm. And this vandalism that is when you arrest vandalism. That is no, when you no, arrest. No, no, if you don't no, arrest, you can no, no, penalize. Section provides for mm. tampering with tampering of the meter, mm -hmm. vandalism. Um, uh, selling a vandalized uh, uh, equipment, mm -hmm. if they catch you with uh, in electricity infrastructure, all those things are offenses. But the question is, mm -hmm. the security agencies, have they even internalized the provisions of that section? Who is complying with them? Who is enforcing them? The problem here is failure to enforce, failure to comply and enforce the provisions of the uh, act that deals with this. Mm -hmm. If they don't, will you make another law when there's another, an already existing law? And you refuse to implement the one existing. You refuse to punish the offenders. Why won't it continue? It will continue. Then the question you will now ask is, what is the relationship between the community people, the distribution company and security agencies? There is a gap. Do you know why? Because the distribution company and the regulatory agencies are being unjust to the consumers who are in the community. They don't have the, the, the good mind to go to community to say, how can we work together to protect this facility? After all, that facility is for the good of the community. But if you are now shortchanging the community, mm -hmm. you are overbilling them, you are making them suffer, they are using their money to provide, and you take it over. If they steal, can somebody go and steal this your uh, station now and you make it money without refunding you, and you'll be there to cooperate and make the place work? You frustrate him. So mm -hmm. that is a problem of vandalism. Mm -hmm. And this, so this is. So Very continue like that. The institutions of state need to come out and do what is right. They need to come out and ensure that the laws are Im implemented. They need to ensure that the consumer is not a cash cow. You know, okay, OPEX is provided, operational expenditure. How much for each disco? How do you know that it's so bad that even when the consumers buy these things, mm. distribution companies submit them as if it is them that bought. Mm. And submit it to imagine, imagine mm -hmm. now. I told you about load. Mm -hmm. Do you know that every bill every consumer is paying now, mm -hmm. a certain percentage is for a refund of the CBN loan of 2020? I told you. Now you didn't benefit that, and you are being made to pay for that loan with the distribution company com collected and did not implement. What kind of wickedness is that? Okay. Now, do you know that meter access provider? Consumers are buying meter. There is what they call meter acquisition fund. Part of the bill consumers are paying. So what is meter acquisition fund? When you are putting meter acquisition fund, meanwhile the consumer is buy, buying the meter. What is the meter acquisition fund for? So it's all this injustice that the regulator and the distribution companies are bringing to bear. Mm. That is why they cannot... So, 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 it is the, so it is the duty of the regulator yes. to iron out these areas yes. Yes. and ensure the right things are... Yes. Done. Okay, now we saw the president yesterday give a marching order to the Minister of Power and of course, to service chiefs to ensure that they not only uh, provide security, but they should monitor how power will be restored, restored back to uh, the northern part of, of, of the country. It's a good thing, one would say. But after such, uh, I mean, uh, work is is done, what is the measures to sustain all of that? Yes, um, thank you very much. Uh, the sustainability. Yes. If all this. You have army, you have air force, you have uh, civil defense police. All of them will be providing security to the engineers that will work towards the restoration of the light in the northern part. Yes. How can it be sustained? I think we some of the solutions are in this part. My brother has highlighted what can be done to mm. safeguard these things. Mm in terms of attitude of the regulators mm. and the distribution mm. companies in handling the consumers. Mm. Yes, as you continue to mention that I didn't mm. need to repeat them. Mm. So that's mm. for the security uh, aspect now. No, for the suspect. No, yes, if I, the president says army, air force, no, before, all of you go and provide no, go no, and no, provide no, security. They cannot solve no, it. Let me, let me even, even 
they, 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 they cannot solve it. Let me tell no, you. Let, 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 let him learn. Let, let him learn. No, no, let him learn. We don't Chief. begin to Chief. encourage what is wrong. Chief, let him learn. Let, let, him. Let, let me tell you. Section 14 to be of the Constitution says security and welfare of the people shall be the primary purpose of government. And the Section 15 said all form of corruption abolished. You cannot send army and police to a community that bought their transformer, bought their pole, bought their wire. The distribution company looked away. And then the regulator did not call the distribution company to say, settle them for what they are provided for you. Then you go and start extorting from them. And then the same army, can the same army ask the neck to bring the companies? How much have they spent on billion naira? How much have they spent on the money? If they do not do those ones, there's no amount of army that can resolve that problem. It cannot. Your opinion. Justice, justice brings mm. peace. Your opinion. Let, should, let, let's get your apply justice. Let, let's in let's get his opinion uh, in this. Hey, mm. Part of the security measure. He is mm. from the safety standards and non protection. Mm. He is not a security person. But from mention mm. could help in the security of the of this uh, equipment in the system if they are well maintained for the security. He has mentioned attitude of officials and distribution companies mm. where they invoke people to come and act and shorten them. I and shorten them. Mm. This is why they, they and, it, and, it's, and it's terrible. This is this is one aspect. Mm. And then one of the things that another thing of sustainability mm. is of course the train manpower. Mm. The national power 